Yeah. Fully vaccinated. Been fully vaccinated. <laughs> Been fully vaccinated for about three months. <laughs> and I had COVID. I mean, I'm just double, double protected. Uh, so, uh, you know, not having Larry this year, I assume uh, big shoes to fill for, for Tyler and the rest of the guys. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, he didn't come by a surprise. We knew he would be gone. And uh, happy for him. Uh, I suspect he'll be starting for the San Diego Chargers. So, I guess it'll be the Los Angeles Chargers at some point. Um, 22, 22 touches per game, you know, up for grabs. And Tyler Beatty, um, you know, he'll get a book of those. He deserves it. He'll get it. He's earned it. He's uh, had a phenomenal off season. He's already graduated from, from the University of Missouri um, with uh, <laughs> almost a 4.0 GPA that has gained 10 pounds this off season. So he's a, he's a 205 and, uh, you know, ready to go. What's your overall sense of, of the running back group that you got? Um, you know, we got four veterans returning. Elijah Young, I call him a veteran. This is his second year. Sammy Bakari and Dawson Downing. So each one of those guys could potentially have a role. Elijah definitely will. Um, you know, you'll see him all over the field, you know, fly motions, and you see him in special teams and things like that, but he'll carry the football as well. Uh, there'll be a lot of competition for that, that third spot. You know, got two freshmen in, P.J. Harris from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Taj Butts from St. Louis. So, you know, those are freshmen, and, you know, one weighs 220, the other weighs about 208, and so, um, statue-wise, they're exactly what we're looking for in the Southeastern Conference, but, you know, Mike Tyson said it, you know, you you got a game plan until you get hit in the mouth, so we have to see how they react to the physical nature of the game, but I suspect that they'll do well. I suspect they'll do well. How much more comfortable are you now in, in year two with this under Drinkwitz and the staff um, being pretty similar? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, offensively, we, we, we're exactly the same um, as far as coaches. And this time last year, there were a, a plethora of questions as far as COVID was concerned and the protocols and the schedule, who we would play, what we, you know, all those, all those issues. So even though that we have the Delta area now, there's still questions, there's still some uncertainty. We feel like we can navigate it through pretty well. Um, and offensively, you know, this time last year we didn't have quarterback. So, you know, Connor is our proven commodity in this league, and, you know, we're going to build around him offensively. Our offensive line a year ago, uh, we didn't know. We know now, four returning starters. Uh, a lot of competition for that, that fifth spot on the offensive line. Uh, I think our receivers will be better. So we just offensively, we want to uh, play better around Connor and uh, limit our turnovers and uh, be really efficient in um, scoring red zone, stay on the field, and convert third downs. I mean, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what's it like? Being under Coach Drinkwitz, who's, uh, you know, likes to talk to Oh, yeah, well, what, you, what you saw at Media Days is what we hear every day, you know. So uh, he's a vibrant personality, uh, you know, bouncing around the office all the time. Uh, he, he's full of one-liners. I mean, he's really, he's really a funny dude. I mean, he's really funny. Uh, and he's really intelligent. So you I mean you can't be really funny and not be really intelligent, you know. So he's both. He's both. You know, he's a phenomenal play caller. So uh, you know, he can keep defenses off balance, and, and he and Connor are going to be better together uh, than they were last year. So it's just incumbent upon us to play better around him, around Connor, and more consistently. We play well, you know. Uh, uh, Arkansas and LSU, and games that's like that, but we, we need to be more consistent for him. Okay, absolutely. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um,